Over the last centuries, the normality of our world was created by white men and women. We live in the white world, in a world which oppresses everyone who is perceived as non-white. It is a racist world. Are you the master? And have you ever heard the joke about why black people that are black, why their hand, the inside of the hand and the soles of the feet are white? Tell us. The joke is that when God spray painted them, they were standing on all fours. I think einfach that this is a very, very, very special form of egoism that in every one of us. The Europeans, obviously, were, were, were greed, wanted to travel, conquer. In the world, developed very much before the black and the colored world were developed. The industrial age began, began very much in the Western world. And even today, there is a big difference in places where black people and other people of different races were. From the Western world, that's where the development of industrial things came and so they became a little more prosperous became a little more prosperous and not just still let's call it behind racism is it's obviously an ideal just like things you've seen throughout history just like with um, Hitler's ideals for the Holocaust it's an ideal that people have created and uh, and the white races they needed labor and so they took the slaves and took them to the counties where they needed to put them to work. So in order to make their big money. Now you end up with people who are predominantly uh, slaves and others who are not predominantly slaves. Well, there are other people who are physically stronger than the others. Therefore the distinction starts to be made over there. But it doesn't mean that you cannot find white people who are as strong as the Africans were to make labor of the nature that was required during slavery time. So 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 I wouldn't just simplistically say that it's just ignorance, but it's what happens after that. You know, what well, you grab people, you put them in chains and you you deprive them of an education, you you deprive them of a livelihood, you reduce them into near animal status, you don't educate, you educate them enough to take instruction from you and all that. Now, now it's a, sort of like a proactive type thing that not only creates a perception of somebody but actively takes action, you know, to actually make them into what you think they are. It's, it's throughout the world. Animals, you look at animals, they stick into, zebras stick with flocks, and birds stick with t together, you know what I mean? Zebras stick together. Animals sort of, there's a segregation for some reason, there's an obvious reason for it. So, there's racism wherever you go, people like to stick with their own culture. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. How does he mean he sees it in the animal world? Um, I think they're completely different things. I don't see how you can relate the animal kingdom to racism. Well, the first thought is that, oh, it's, it's, not natural. Ich weiß nicht, ob es was natürlich ist, aber ich glaube schon, dass es Thema ist und dass es immer Thema sein wird. Ja, vielleicht ist es dann doch eine gewisse Natürlichkeit. Ich weiß nicht, es gab es halt schon immer. Well, how do you define natural? We will always have groups, but races implies looking down on another group because of skin color kind of a weird question, what it means to be white. It's privileged. It makes, I guess it makes, makes it easier in, you know, depending on what situation, but I'm thinking about, you know, often in a good way, it's easier to be white. White racism is, okay, like the othering process that white racism goes through of placing itself at the center um, means that it doesn't acknowledge any other, the rest of the races. It's, it's sort of everything else, everything that's not white is subhuman, you know, making the whites the supreme race. Whereas black racism is in relation to white racism. It's not happening in the gulf of like nothingness. It's going, well, you know, because 
you are you treat me like this i'm going to hold on to these sets of beliefs that other you but in as much as like you're not you're not really doing much to the center you can't <laughs> you can't other the center so black racism is in reaction in some sense and not in reaction doesn't mean that white racism started this all off no but it means that when black people find themselves being racist it's because they are racist in relations to the acts done by like the oppressive system the physical recolonization of the african continent it could actually happen